What can you do with an electrical engineering degree? In college, classmates would often ask me what my major was. And when I would tell them, they would always ask, Oh, so you want to solve circuits your whole life. But let me just clear some things up. Electrical engineering is not just solving circuits. Yes, the foundation courses are circuit solving techniques, but in industry, it is completely different. I wish someone had explained electrical engineering before I started college so that I would have a better idea of what I was getting myself into. Now I'm making this video to help you decide whether electrical engineering is the right career for you. The first thing that you have to understand is that electrical engineering and a lot of engineering disciplines are not a single road. What I mean is that there's a spectrum of careers within each discipline. The way I visualize it is to think of it like a giant root. At the top, we have the electrical engineering major, and the roots are all the disciplines that you can focus on. Certain dif disciplines share roots, so you can end up doing more than one thing. The possibilities are quite large. Your spectrum could spread from programming all day to designing analog circuits. Most campuses will have an array of choices to get you started, and some of the terms that you will be seeing are digital, power, communications, RF, and controls, just to name a few. These are the concentrations within electrical engineering, and they all refer to different industries that deal with the manipulation of electricity to achieve a goal. Let's describe the initial classes, and then describe a few of the electives to give you an idea of what the field really is. Let's start with the first class that relates to the practical classes and this class is the electricity and magnetism course. In this course, you derive and solve Maxwell's equations. And under certain assumptions, you will be able to solve Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's voltage law, and Kirchhoff's current law. These are the basis for circuit theory. Following this brief introduction, you will take a series of classes that will introduce you to all the fundamental elements. You will learn about DC, AC, resistors, capacitors, inductors, diodes, transistors, basic amplifiers, gates, signals, and you will take one or two programming courses. These will be your bread and butter and will help you with the elective courses. Finally, the elective courses. Here is where you will decide what specialized classes you're interested in. I will give you a brief overview of the emphasis and the career, and if you're interested in a specific one, comment below and I will make a video specifically about it. So let's start. Let's begin with digital systems. Digital systems refers to dealing with electronics that have been designed to work with zeros and ones. Electives in this field involve a lot of hardware programming which involves you literally connecting devices via software. You will use programming languages like VHDL and Verilog, which are not related to C, Python, Pro, or anything of that nature. Computer engineering derives from the study of digital systems. So if you're interested in computers, this might be the ranger for you. Power. Power refers to dealing with electronics designed to manipulate power and power transmission. These classes in engineers deal with the power generation, power electronics, alternative energy, and the power grid. So if you're interested in solar, wind, and other forms of alternative energy, this is for you. Communications. Communications refers to engineering that deals with transmission of information through a medium. In this field, you will deal with filters, modulations, protocols, so if you're interested in radio, the internet, and how information is transmitted from your cell phone, then these are the electives for you. RF. RF deals with electronics which are operating at high frequencies. Communications on RF are related, but RF deals more with the actual electronics and their behavior due to signals, as opposed to the rules of transmission of information. If you're interested in the actual physics of signals and how they propagate through space, this is for you. Controls. 
Controls deals with feedback of the world to decide on actions to take. This involves sensors and software, and recently I've been seeing a lot of professionals work with quadcopters. If you're interested in making things smart, this is for you. So as you can see from this brief overview, you can do a lot of things with an electrical engineering degree.